The offensive in the east is coming at a huge cost to the Russian military, and this weekend the Russians endured the most costly 24 hours of their war in Ukraine, writes Forbes. On Sunday, analyst Andrew Perpetua tallied more than 180 damaged, destroyed or abandoned Russian vehicles and heavy weapons. Ukraine's own losses were far fewer than three dozen, Forbes writes. At the same time, Forbes explains, on average, during a full-scale invasion, Russia lost only 19 units of heavy weapons per day. That is, the record losses of Russians in one day this weekend were almost 10 times worse than the average. Of course, not all of the losses on this list are irreparable, and not all of them happened this weekend. Some happened earlier, but video or photographic evidence of them appeared over the weekend. Not all of them were in the Pokrovsk area, so it is impossible to say for sure that the Russians lost all of this equipment in one day while trying to take Pokrovsk. However, as an indication of the scale of Russian losses, these statistics paint a fairly clear picture. Thus, the offensive on Pokrovsk is very costly for Russian troops and they will not be able to maintain this pace for a long time. If the current Russian offensive runs out of men and equipment before it reaches Pokrovsk, it could be some time before Russia can muster the resources for a second attempt, the Forbes analyst said. Some Ukrainian analysts predict that the enemy will reach the city by mid-September but will fail to capture it, and this failure could finally signal the end of the Russian offensive that began last fall near Avdiivka. However, Forbes notes that these optimistic forecasts are based on a risky assumption that the Russians will not be able to immediately recoup their losses. Yes, the advancing Russians are leaving a shocking trail of dead soldiers and destroyed equipment on their way to Pokrovsk. No, these losses will not persist in the long term since the Kremlin has already significantly used up its vast stockpiles of Cold War weapons. But it is unclear whether the troops and equipment will be able to save Pokrovsk and the surrounding area. The newspaper writes, As death toll is rising among Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine, Putin's regime is receiving increased backlash for its war of invasion in Ukraine. A resident of Russia's St. Petersburg city has shared video footage of a large cemetery in the city that is known to be the cultural capital of the Russian Federation. In a video posted in Telegram messaging app, the social media user has condemned Putin's war of invasion in Ukraine and decried the killing of Russian soldier in Ukrainian soil. Dark side of the culture capital of Russian Federation. How many guys have died? For what? What the hell were you looking for in Ukraine? You cannot return the guys. The graveyard is getting larger and larger, the man said as he was filming the video. Russia has been expanding its cemeteries since full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in more than two years ago. According to some media reports, as of June, the government has spent $1.5 million on cemetery expansion. Так, 
темная сторона культурной столицы России. Вот оно, блядь. Нахуй никому не впавшее СВО, блядь. Нахуй оно нужно, блядь. Сколько пацанчиков лежат, за ради чего, блядь. Чё там ту ёбаная Украине нахуй забыли, блядь. Ёб твою мать, блядь. А пацанов не вернуть, нахуй. Блядь, сука, кладбище растет и растет. Сука.